everyone, it's Miranda. Welcome back to my channel. So today is another episode of Tame My Mane where I try out new hair tools, gadgets, and accessories. Obviously, I am wearing today's product on my head already. This is called the All Caps Shower, Sleep, and Spa Cap. This is like a shower cap on steroids. You can do a lot more with it than just your normal shower cap. You can sleep in it and it can help preserve your hairstyle um, as well as using it in the shower, but you can also turn it inside out and use it to lock in hair treatment. It's a really cool three-in-one product and I wanted to test it out to see how well it preserved a hairstyle overnight. I feel like the specific function of preserving a hairstyle overnight is what would personally make me want to buy this the most because it can help preserve blowout so you're getting your money's worth or maybe even save time if you want to do your hair before an event like the night before and then not have to worry about it in the morning. So last night I curled my hair. I do have an event later tonight and I thought it would just be fun to see if I can get ready early and not have to worry about my hair today. So let's rewind. I filmed a little bit about what my hair looked like and how the cap works. So let's go back in time, shall we? Okay, so for this hair test, I have curled my whole head with a one inch barrel curling iron. And you can just see that it's pretty defined. I haven't like finger combed my hair yet, which is normally what I do after curling, after they've set in their defined shapes, I'll go ahead and shake them out to kind of give a more voluminous look and get them to be a little more piecey. But for this test, I actually wanna see how much definition we lose overnight sleeping in the all caps. Personally for me, I don't have a lot of need to preserve a hairstyle overnight, but something that would really, really pique my interest is if I could curl my hair the night before I need to do something the next day. So in that case, I would curl my hair like this, sleep in the all caps, and then in the morning, I don't have to worry about doing my hair. I can just finger comb it through, break up the curls, and it'll look just as good as if I've just done it. So that's kind of the test that I'm doing today and for this video. So I'm just gonna kind of give you a 360 look of what my hair looks like so you can get a really good before picture. So I'm going to sleep in the all caps tonight. I'm going to show it to you here. It's a very, very large and baggy cap as opposed to like your normal shower cap, but that does give you enough room for all of your hair to fit inside comfortably. So the front is indicated by two buttons here and that's gonna go right here. Oh, that is just some high fashion. Okay, so I'm gonna tuck my hair in to the all caps and you can see there's a lot of room here get my medium hair in but if, even if you have long hair there's definitely definitely enough room side toggle way on the side here this is where you can tighten the hat so you can tighten it as tight as you want I do want it to be pretty snug against um, the back of my head because I'm gonna be sleeping and I move around in my sleep so I want to make sure it's actually on there. Now you can leave the cap like this and if you have really long hair, this might be ideal for you so that you're not like scrunching it all up. But if you think that having this on your neck is gonna bother you, which it probably would for me during sleep, there are these loops at the top which will pull it up off your neck and then they just loop over these buttons. So now it's off your neck, a little bit lifted, and your hair is still not like confined or pressured into a weird shape. It feels like it's still laying relatively normally. So I'm gonna hopefully keep that curl and see if tomorrow it's that defined and then have a hairstyle that looks really fresh. So you stay tuned, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay, so it's the next morning, it's time for the big reveal. I've done my makeup, I'm ready to just have my hair ready and get out the door. Just a note, when I filmed that clip last night, it was about 4.35 p.m. So since it was gonna be a while until I actually went to sleep, I did put a thin layer of hairspray in my hair because I didn't want my curls to fall just from like walking around. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, but I, I didn't put in as much as I would have had I been wearing it out the same day, if that makes sense. So time to reveal what it looks like now. I'm just gonna undo these loops. And just um, a note about these loops is that by the end of the night, it they didn't do much to keep this off my neck. Like it, the elastics kind of just stretched out and it ended up sagging. So that's just something to note. Okay, so we've got that going on. Let me 
undo these and I'll talk a little bit more about my experience sleeping in this after we see how my hair looks. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all actually. In fact, it did lose a little bit of definition, but it's kind of as if I were to have already like finger combed it. Like it's kind of taken a more natural shape. Like I would have wanted it, you know, yesterday I would have tossed a little, little bit to look like this. So this actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna do a 360 and we can do a before and after here. This is what it looks like even without finger combing it. There is like a weird dent right here and I'm not quite sure what that's from, um, but nothing a little tossling can't fix. And then just a little bit of just flyaways, but not as much frizz as I thought was gonna happen. So I am just gonna go ahead and toss all these curls as much as I can, but honestly, it worked out really well. Like, I could totally leave the house right now and feel like I have done hair. Um, I probably would add a little bit of leave-in conditioner just because uh, we do have a little tiny bit of frizzies or flyaways up at the top here, but not as much as I would have expected. Like, my hair looks pretty damn good. And this is way better than when I have like second day curls and just sleep on my pillow. Usually that turns into loose waves, pretty loose waves, but loose waves nonetheless. This actually still has the volume and bounce that I like in a curly hairstyle. So let's talk about sleeping with the cap on. It did stay on my head all night and that is really, really impressive because I've gone to bed with like twisty turbans on and they always end up just clinging on to like the ends of my hair up here near my pillow. But this actually stayed pretty snug the entire night and obviously it worked to preserve my hair. Now, I did notice some pretty big cons. I live in LA and it is still relatively warm outside for November, it sucks, but yeah. And even though we had the air conditioner on, it got a little toasty being in here all night. I woke up at about 4 a.m. and I was dying to rip this off because I was feeling super warm. Um, I kind of just lifted it a little bit, probably to right here, just to give myself a little breathing room. Um, but that was a con for me just because I don't like the feeling of being warm when I sleep. Also, I am a side sleeper, so these little nubs right here, which help tighten the cap onto your head, they did end up irritating me because when I was sleeping on my side, they were like digging into my temple. So that was also um, not very comfortable for me. But the bottom line is it worked. I mean, if I really needed to do my hair the night before something or if I got a really expensive blowout or whatever and wanted to extend it so that I wasn't wasting $60 on a day's worth of hairstyle, this would come in very, very handy and I would totally use it. Again, you can use it in the shower as well so you can really, really make the most of your hairstyle and if you flip it inside out so the plasticky side is on the inside, you can wear it this way to do like hair masks and stuff and keep it, you know, contained and really let it sink in. So it's a really nice three-in-one product. Now here's the kicker, the all caps is $52 on Amazon. The link is below if you wanna check it out. That is a little expensive to me when I'm thinking about the function of a shower cap, but when you think about how much money it could save you if you are somebody who does like to get blowouts and you can, you know, extend that blowout to a week, maybe that's worth it to you. Also, if your time is super, super precious, and it is to most of us, um, if it can let you do things the night before, such as style your hair so that you can wake up later maybe or just have more time in the morning to do something else, maybe that's worth it to you. This would make a pretty good gift for a lot of people, I think, for brides, if they get their hair done in the morning but they still need to shower later, they can preserve their hairstyle, or even wear it longer, you know, through their honeymoon, etc. This would also be really great if you're constantly coloring your hair and you've been told not to wash it very much and you can really preserve um, your color by wearing this in the shower that first week where you're not supposed to wash your hair. But I wanna hear what you think. Do you think the all caps is worth it? How much 
would you pay for it? Do you think the results are good? Leave it in the comments below and don't forget to hit thumbs up if you want to see more Tame My Main videos. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. Become a member of the Slashed Squad. I make new videos every week and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!